Do you want to know what I look for when I hire a therapist? This is what we're talking about today. Hi, my name is Mark Bentz, and I'm the owner of one of the largest multidisciplinary clinics in Canada. I started the virtual CEO because I wanted to take clinic owners from overworked, underpaid, to living life on your terms and a clinic that is extremely profitable. So the first thing I'm looking for is, how do they fit the team? You know, where are they at in, in, in their life? How are they gonna fit in? Where are they at in their professional life? So an example, um, we all go through different cycles, right? Different times of our lives. So is it a, a, a mature person? Maybe they're in their 40s or 50s. Um, maybe it's a mature therapist. Maybe they've been practicing 20 or 30 years. These are important components because you want to get a healthy group. So you might get new grads with some mid-careers with some senior therapists. That makes a nice uh, group. You might get people in their 20s with their 30s and then people in their 40s and 50s. Makes for an interesting group. So I don't just go off and hire a bunch of people that are in their 20s. Probably not a good idea for the longevity of the practice. I always want to be mixing and matching and making sure that people are learning from each other. And the best way of looking at it is where are they, where are they in their personal growth cycle? Where are they in their professional growth cycle? It's so helpful. And again, don't do a bunch of new grads. Make sure you spread new grads out with mid-career people, with senior therapists, because they all help support each other. So crucial guys, look at it, look at it. Make sure it fits what you wanna grow, okay? Let's look at number two, and it is so telling. So I get a treatment from every single therapist I interview. And what's interesting, is when I say that to people on the phone, I haven't had too many, but I've had maybe one, five percent of people, and they're like, "You want me to give you a treatment? Are you going to pay me?" And I instantly can weed people out because if this therapist wants to get paid for the treatment they've done, I bet you that's going to create more problems when they're in the clinic. A therapist that wants to join your practice should see the value in your practice and want to come to learn. They should want to be like be thrilled about getting a treatment so they can get the feedback so they know that this is the right decision for you and them to join your practice. So every single therapist I get a treatment from and I'm looking for in that treatment, I'm looking for, can they build rapport? Do they create a therapeutic relationship? Do they deliver a treatment plan? Like, are they doing the basics? And you'd be surprised what they're not doing. And really, what I see a decent amount of is it's not a solid treatment plan. They talk a bit, they talk about stretches, they talk about how many times they might come in, but they don't finish it. There's not a solid close. So the patient goes, I get my direction, I trust in my direction, and I'm going for it. That's what I look for. So, and that, that's the only way, you, you can't do that theoretically. That's not a phone call. That's a get in the treatment room, and we actually do it with three people. So I have the therapist work on me, and then I have someone else watching, because we want to evaluate everything. And what that allows us to do is make good decisions. And thankfully, it's worked. Number three, what am I looking for when I'm bringing on that therapist? I'm looking for something called the model of their world. And what that means is, what is their outlook in life? What is it? What do they believe in? And there's, it's very complicated. I, I go into a many step process. Um, I've learned from Tony Robbins and it takes a lot of time, but I'm giving you the short version, an easy one for you to gleam a lot of information from them. And it's not invasive. You can do it. You don't have to feel weird about it. And it goes like this. Three simple statements. I am, people are, life is. Okay. So what do you do? You say, hey, John, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a statement and I want you to give me a response. Don't think about it. Just 
instantly give me the first thing that comes to your head. Because what you're actually working on is their subconscious. If they have time to think about it, they are consciously going to give you what they think you want to get. So it's really, really important. If they're thinking about it, you have to stop it. Stop what you're doing. That's not the point of what you're doing. You want the immediate response, like that fast. So I am. I just did this with a gal yesterday. She goes, I am. She goes, happy. I am. She goes, curious. I am thrilled to be here. Oh, that's pretty interesting. You can imagine someone, so I am is their identity. They believe that that's who they are. Well, if you believe you're happy, curious, and you want to be here, wow, <laughs> that's a good place to be for her and me. I'm getting, the right, I'm getting the right person. Or how about, you know, I am frustrated. I am confused. Oh, interesting statement. You can see where that may lead. People are. Well, what did she say? People are friendly. People are exciting. Imagine someone else going, people are hard to work with. Oh, imagine that. People are complicated. Interesting statement. So you can see you're starting to build up the model of their world. Go to the third one. Life is. Life is hard. Imagine that. Or life is fun. Very different. It's a completely different outlook. Again, how about complicated? Life is complicated. Or life is an experience to, worth living. That it is. So that little exercise, I'm talking that was simple, wasn't it? That was little, just a few words, boom, their responses can give you so much about themselves. Because those feelings, the subconscious, what's coming out of them, that's how they're gonna be in your practice. So if you get someone that's saying people are hard, you know, life is complicated, you know, I am tired, whatever it is, I'm frustrated, I am whatever that may be, it's gonna show up day after day. And who do you wanna be around? I wanna be around that girl. I wanna be around happy people that truly believe in themselves that they're happy, they're curious, they're excited, they're engaged. Because when you're around that type of person, it lifts everybody up. So that's a bit of a secret, guy. See, a secret gift for you guys. But take it. It'll absolutely change the people you bring to your practice. Because once you get them in your practice, boy, watch out. You better have made the right decisions. And here's another statement. When you bring someone into your practice, Slow to hire, quick to fire. You may, you may have made a mistake. I make mistakes. I work with people. But at some point, if it's not working, you got to let them go. you got to. There's another place for them. For whatever reason, what you've created isn't filling their boots. And that's totally okay. But that's how I bring on great therapists. Get out there, guys. Take action. See you in the next video.